Hi Stamper, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, some pinwheel. I got an email from, I think it's Shelly or Shirley, that uh, she asked me to show uh, how to make the pinwheel because her and her daughter, Emily, hi Emily, make, um, watch my video at night. So, I'm going to make that for them. I did a little sample here on the card and a sweet... Sweet for the sweet, that's what I use for my background uh, stamp there. And here, uh, just for fun, it's in the sweet for the sweet. Here I just use the polka dot one. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, I got a um, scrapbook page that I got at a convention at a swap that I thought it was pretty cool with all those pinwheel. So I'm going to show you how to make them today. Very simple. First thing you want to do it's a piece of uh, designer series paper. You can do it with cardstock too. I prefer to work with uh, DSP. You can use cardstock. You just have to put a little bit more crease in it. I'm going to show you in a 6x6. Six six. This is a discontinued paper I had, but to show you, I'm going to show you how to, um, to do with this one, a bigger one, and then I'm going to do a small one too. You want to fold your paper, like I said, it has to be a perfect square, 6x6, six 2x2, six, 3x3, two two, three three, doesn't matter, pure square. Fold it diagonal, this way, you're making like a little... Uh, a peak of a house here. You see this? Maybe if I go this way you would see better. So you go this way. After you've done this, then you go again this way. And you could always, so then you get it, you can always open it and then do the other way. Whatever works best for you. I'm going to reinforce this. When it's a big piece, I don't, you could use the scissors and cut this, but when it's a big piece, I'd rather use my uh, paper cutter. So I'm going to put this on my paper cutter diagonal. I think you can see it good there. Diagonal like this. And you're going to cut to the center point a little bit. I would say about a quarter inch up from your center point. So I'm going to put this here. Stop there, lift it up, push it back down, and do the same thing. You see about where I stop. If you go too close, then it's easier to rip. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Here we go. And this one I went very close. I'm not a fan of this one, but that's okay. I went a little bit too deep. So now, now what we're going to do, and you could go ahead and just fold it and call it good, but me, I'm going to get um, my brads ready. I'm going to get a center. You can use, this one it's the, three, uh, the half inch circle, or you can use the three quarter. Like for a six by six, I would use the three-quarter uh, circle to put in the center. Or you can always use a little flower. Like this one, it's a little flower. So, and what I'm going to do, it's every um, right corner, you're going to put a dot of glue. So on the right corner, there, on the right. For me, this makes it easier when I fold it. So I lift it up in every right corner. So now that I got this, I put this on where I'm going to be able to poke a hole so then I don't have to move. Fold this. Where you add the glue, fold this to your center. Turn to the next one. Fold this to your center. And you do that with your four side. And you know what? I forgot. Really, we should overlap it a little bit. And the reason why, it's because then you know when you put your bread, it's going to grab every one of them. So just overlap it a little bit. It make it more secure. 
And the reason why I put the glue there, you see, it helped me to hold this in place. And then I would poke my hole in. Oops, you need to put your little round thing. You would poke this here. And then put your bread in. And this is a huge one, six by six. It's almost too big for that. But this would be cool, a six by six, and put another one in the center. And just open your bread. That's what I'm trying to do. Voila! Now you have it. So look at that. If you would put another one in the center of this, then it would be even cooler. So this one, it's um, a three by three. This one, it's a four by four. And the card that I'm going to make with you today, I'm using a two by two and a three by three. So. I'm going to show you how to make a 2x2 two two quick because I'm using the scissors with that. Again, I fold this way, open, fold. So it's diagonal that you want your line. I'm just going to snip this. Remember, uh, keep a little bit in the center to give some uh, support. This and this. And then for this one, I'm going to use my half inch uh, circle punch. And again, I'm using, on the right side, I'm using a tap of glue. You can do left side or whatever, as long as you do them all on the same side. That's the main important thing, because that's where you're going to be lifting and, and putting in the center. And now I'm going to put it on my little uh, poker mat there. Fold. Fold. And fold again. So now that I got this, I'm going to put this in. You can put a little bit of glue in the back of this so it don't move around. I mean, this is this little circle. Poke your hole right in the center of this, and I push it hard to make sure I get all the layers. I'm going to put my bread, push it through, then open it up, and voila, you get your perfect little um, pinwheel. Now, this card, like I said, I pre stamp um, the sweet uh, to the sweet. I really like this for the pinwheel. You get the pinwheel in them. I use kind of the candy for this. I'm going to put this on blue just to add some... Uh, I should have done that in advance. I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to put just a plain one there without... Uh, oh, I know what we're going to do. I'm going to put a dimensional in the back. Put this right there. Then I'm going to use in uh, the stamp set, you get those stem there. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use Marina Mist like uh, my background in the paper. Going to lift this up, stamp this. Voila. And then I could use the bigger one. No, I'm just going to leave this here and I can add another greeting there. So that's it for the share today. Hope you learned something new. Have a great uh, one. And Emily, it's time for bed. Happy stamping.